In this video, we're going to be comparing these three bad boys. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things down there. Right, this is a big one. We have got the Vaporfly Next Percent. We have got the Alpha Fly Next Percent. And we have got the most beautiful Socony Endorphin Pro. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here we are, these three absolute monsters of the running world. Look how much money I've got tied up here. 240 pounds, 190 to 200 pounds, and 260 pounds. Do not tell my wife. Now these are three epic, epic shoes. Now I'm gonna say this again. I've done this in all the videos that I've done on these shoes. I'll make it clear, I'm not an elite runner. I don't run marathons under three hours. Uh, I train hard, I work hard. I buy these shoes to try and give me that little edge on race day. Uh, and that's why I spend the money on these shoes uh, more than anything else to try and give me that little bit of help on, on, on the marathon day, uh, on a marathon race day. Uh, but if you're looking for an elite uh, review of these shoes, you're not gonna get it here, I'm afraid. Although it's lovely to have you. Uh, I'm an everyday runner, normal runner. Uh, and I'm gonna give you what it's like from that perspective. So with that out of the way, let's talk about these shoes. Now, before we get stuck into which one's the best, let's get some of the stats out of the way. Let's start with the eldest of the shoes, the Vapor Fly, uh, next percent. Now this shoe was out last year. Uh, it's currently 240 pounds here in the UK. Uh, this shoe's got loads of Zoom X in it and a carbon plate. Uh, you've got the vapor weave upper, and it's weighing in on average about seven and a half ounces. Uh, the Socony Endorphin Pro with its speed roll technology. Uh, this shoe is again a nice and light shoe at seven and a half ounces. Stack height is 35 mil with an eight mil drop. Uh, you've got the Power Run PB midsole, and it's got an S-shaped carbon plate in it. And lastly, the latest edition of these monsters is the Alpha Fly. Now the Alpha Fly has got a huge stack height, which maxes out at 40 mil, which is just within the regulations. It's got a full length carbon plate in it as well. It's got loads of Zoom X, which is Nike's most responsive uh, midsole. So that's why they've chucked loads of it on there. You've got two Zoom pockets on the front uh, and you've got this new Atom knit upper. Uh, this shoe is the heaviest out of them. This shoe is on average about eight and a half to nine ounces depending uh, what size you go for, but that's no surprise given how much foam and the air pockets on the front. So where do we start? Well, let's start, as I said to you, with the Vaporfly, um, which is still one of my favorite shoes. I absolutely love this shoe. Why do I love it? Because it's naughty like me. It just wants to run really, really fast all the time. You slip it on and you think, you think to yourself on a start line, right, I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna run the first three kilometers at 4.45 per kilometer. No, what happens? You look at your watch and you're running 4.30 per kilometer and you're like, what, what's going on here? It's because this thing just wants you to run faster. It will push you as much as you wanna go. It will continuously egg you on to run faster. With the Zoom X and the Zoom X in the forefoot, it is just constantly making you run faster. It is an amazing feeling. And when you put, that, put your foot down to go even faster, it's there and it can carry you. It really is a great feeling. And it's lightweight. I really dig the um, Vapor Weave upper on it. I really prefer it and I actually prefer it to this. I just think it's one of the best uppers they've done for a while. I just like the whole feeling of it, personal choice. But yeah, this, <laughs> this thing is naughty. It just wants you to run faster and faster and faster. This shoe, which I actually prefer out of the two. Uh, we'll get that straight out of there, out of the way now. I love this shoe for a couple of reasons. It's more of a traditional um, shoe, I would say. I love the Power Run PB midsole. It's it's firmer, but you're still getting a great amount of energy return. Obviously, with the carbon plate as well. With the speed roll, you're getting a lovely heel to toe transition. And what I absolutely dig is the sensation of being up on your toes. You really feel like you're you're going along like this. It's a great sensation. With this shoe, you're sort of on trampoline springing along. This, you're sort of running like that. And that's that's kind of the difference between these two. I really love the upper, minimalistic. Obviously, the weight's fantastic. And at 190 pounds, what's not to love about that? Then, you've got this bad boy, which I described in another video. I can't remember which one. as like more of a sort of GT racing car. It's, it's just fantastic at maintaining speed and you can see why they broke records in it. It just holds that speed over distance. I actually prefer this running, I prefer to run this at lower speed. So instead of going out there after like a hard time, I, I would prefer this to, to run this at goal pace. So what my you know goal marathon pace is, it just holds it for longer and you can really feel that you can maintain that speed. You know, sometimes when you feel like you're running a little bit too quick, you don't in this. 
and running that little bit slower within yourself at your goal target pace, you can just hold the speed. You do get that trampoline effect off the Zoom X, but it pushes you onto the firmer air pockets at the front. Uh, and again, I described it uh, earlier in the other video. It's like you're jumping up and down the trampoline and someone pushes you, you know, so it's like pushes you forward. So because you get onto that firmer air pocket at the front with the carbon plate and it sort of drives you forward. And that's the sensation. All three of these shoes are awesome. And I would recommend all three of these shoes to all of you. This is narrower than these two. They all fit to me, true to size. This is probably the biggest um, out of all of them. And I know some people have gone down half a size in these, uh, but for me, I'm UK nine and a half in all of these. They're just amazing. You will run faster in all of these shoes. Obviously, if you do your training and blah, 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 but I believe that you will run faster in these. I wouldn't necessarily run this shoe and this shoe over a 5K distance where it's a bit, you know, twisty and turny because they're unstable. I would run that over a 5K distance because it is more stable. And that for me is another reason why, to summarize it, this shoe is the best out of the three. I absolutely love this shoe. I love the sensation of being up on my toes. I love the, the feeling I get from heel to toe on it. I love the lightness. I love the slightly firmer ride from the Power Run PB but you're not sacrificing anything with that firmness. You're still getting a massive energy return from the Power Run PB. I just love the overall traditional sort of feel of the shoe, even though it's white. And if you're new to the channel, I really don't like white shoes because I just get ruined, but I just love it. I think it looks awesome. I think this looks the most awesome, but that's because it's in pink. But I think this just looks amazing, but it just feels fantastic. To be able to like dart along on your heel, uh, on your toes like that, it's just fantastic, and, it, and, it, and it's grown on me the more I run it. So there you go, guys, that's the conclusion. These are three amazing, amazing shoes. But for me, out of the three of them, I would go for the Endorphin Pro.